Hi, Matt Thomas here with another One Chart Lesson. Today we're looking at It's a Shame About Ray by the Lemonheads. This is a pretty quick and simple song to learn, uh, but it's just got a couple of new and interesting chord variations in it, which is really the main challenge of this song. Otherwise, it's a very simple uh, chord progression, which repeats pretty much throughout the song with one little riff that comes in over an F chord. Now, I'm gonna take you through the strumming pattern first because it's very, very simple. It's in the key of A, this song. So let's start with our A chord and just do this kind of strumming, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. The best way to get around that strumming pattern, I know it's very simple for, for a lot of people, but if you're just starting and you wanna get around this strumming pattern, if you're going one, two, three, four with your hand, your down strums, one, two, three, four, automatically every and between those beats, your hand is already doing an up strum, it's just not hitting the strings. So we can go one and two and three and four and, okay? Then our strumming pattern is within that. Down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two and, and four and, one, two and, three and four and, Take a moment to get around that strumming pattern if you're not fully comfortable with it, because that's what we do all throughout the song. Okay, so here we go. We start with the intro. It's a simple chord progression. It's an eight bar chord progression, and once we learn that, that's it for the whole song. A, E, D, and another bar of D. Back to A. Then we do, the next chord is a, an A sus2 slash G sharp. Now what that means, it sounds more complicated than it is. An A sus2 is a normal A major chord with your finger lifted off the B string. And what that means is that we're adding that B note to our A chord. If you want to get technical about it, the B note is the second note from your A major scale, which is where the two comes in. But the A sus2 is played like that because we're adding a B note to it. The slash part of the chord, slash G sharp, anytime you see a chord with a slash and a, and a note after it, that denotes the new bass note for that chord or the new lowest note in the chord. So if you're adding a G sharp, which is this note on the fourth fret of the E string, to an A major chord, we have to work out how to do that with our fingers, okay? So we're adding a G sharp to our A sus2. The trick here is to play the A sus2 adding this B instead of the open B string, we're adding the B which is on the second fret of the A string. Which means that instead, if you, if you do your A chord like this with one finger, you can simply just move it over one string. So now you're covering the second fret A string, second fret D string, 2nd fret G string and you can stop there. We can pretty much ignore these top two strings. If you're really good at bending your finger, the top two open strings, the open B and the open E, fit in this chord perfectly. But that kind of gets a little bit tricky with your hand bending that finger so it frets some notes and, and leaves some notes free. Now we just add the G sharp by putting our third finger over onto the G sharp on the 4th fret of the E string. And if you only strum those bottom four strings, it makes things very simple. And this part of your finger can kind of muffle those top two strings as well. And that takes them out of the equation. So don't worry too much about those top two strings. Just concentrate on those four strings there. And that's your A sus2 slash G sharp. If all that explanation is sounding a little bit tricky to you, just look at the diagram on your one chart and that shows you how to play that A chord. Just remember that third finger takes the G sharp and your first finger goes across all the other notes. Okay, so we go from the A to the A sus2 slash G sharp, then down to G. It doesn't matter whether you have one or two fingers on those top two notes, you can do a straight up G like that, or you can do a G with that uh, note on the third fret B string as well, which is how I like to do my G's. Either way is good. From that G, 
we go to the next slash chord and the only other chord that's a little bit tricky in this song which is your D slash F sharp. Now I've written D slash F sharp on your one chart. The way I'm playing it it's like a D sus 2 which like the A sus 2 is a D with the second note of the D major scale added to it which is an E which is this top E string. So a D major is like that a D sus 2 is simply lifting your finger off the E string. So there's your D sus 2. When we want to add an F sharp to the bottom of that, there's your F sharp on the second fret E string. So if we move this finger over to the F sharp, these two fingers take the two notes out of our D chord. And we have this beautiful D sus 2 slash F sharp. But as I said, I've just written D slash F sharp. So you could do that like that if you wanted to if you wanted to do the whole chord. But I'll play it like that. So that's that little, the, the last four bars of that progression. A, A sus 2 slash G sharp, G, D slash F sharp. And you'll notice in that last, those last four bars, your bass note is going from A, G sharp, G down to F sharp, which is that nice descending bass line that you get in that chord, in that run. That's it for chords. That's the progression over and over throughout the verse, throughout the chorus. We repeat that. We do that progression twice through and that's our intro. Then comes to the riff. Now the riff is played over an F chord, so if you don't want to do this riff, you can actually just strum an F, but the actual riff I've tabbed out on your chart goes first fret on the E string, third fret on the A string with your third finger, second fret on the D string with your second finger, third fret D string with your third finger, come back to the second fret D string, back to the third fret A string, and that's your riff. riff pops up a couple of times throughout the song. Straight after the intro we do that riff twice and then we're into the first verse. So it goes. I find it easier to jump back to an A using that single finger technique for your A chord but of course if you do that don't forget you've either got to let that top E string be muffled or just avoid strumming it altogether because you don't want to fret that second fret note on the E string because it sounds awful and that's not part of the A chord. twice again at the end of the chorus you get to your riff which we're going to play four times back into your chords again for a repeat of the intro this time it's only once through that whole progression for an intro so it's like half the length of the original intro after you do that you move through into another verse then it's another chorus then we into the riff again four times and end on A. That's it. It's a really easy song to learn once you get your fingers around those couple of chord variations. Hope you found that interesting. Hope you found it fun and enjoyable and easy to play that song now. Um, thanks for watching. Jump on over to the One Chart website, like and subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the notification bell and you'll hear about every new video that I put up, which I'm trying to do at least a couple of times every week. So hopefully we'll see you again to learn some more new songs soon. Thanks a lot.